Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough of Fallout 4. Well, in the last episode we pretty much completed the main storyline. We have one little quest that says a new dawn, speak to Elder Maxon. So we'll speak to Elder Maxon real quick here and then we'll head out to Vault 88 where we will set up our own vault. I figure in the storyline of Kayla when she has pretty much, you know, established herself now. It would be the perfect time to do it. Hello there, Walter Christian. Let's see, it's always one in the morning when you stream. America gets collectively fucked over. <laughs> Maybe try streaming normal time, not one in the morning. It's a good point. It's a good point there, Walter. Um, eventually, when I move out, it's a possibility, depending on what my work schedule will be. But there's a lot of things that'll be changing in the course of the year, but for the time being, this is her. kind of the best Captain Kells and I wanted to speak but Captain Kells, as I expect Elder Maxon has already explained, the destruction of the Institute is simply the first stage of our operations in the Commonwealth. There are still super mutants and ferals to be dealt with, as well as any remaining synths that escaped the blast. It's our hope that you will continue serving with the Brotherhood and assist us with eradicating these threats. Of course, Captain. Very good, Paladin. In light of your service, Captain Kells and I both feel you deserve unique recognition for your contributions. Both past... and future. It's with great pleasure and the utmost respect that you are hereby granted the title of Sentinel. This is the highest honor a Brotherhood soldier can achieve. But we both felt strongly that it was well deserved. In addition, we'd like to present you with this jetpack modification for your power armor. The Brotherhood has few of these devices in its possession, but we feel you've earned the right to utilize one of them. Congratulations, Sentinel. It's an honor to be serving with you. Thank you both. I'm really quite honored. The honor is ours. So, Sentinel, for the first time since we've met, I have no orders for you. From this moment forward, you will decide which missions you undertake and how you will guide us. Captain Kells and the personnel at the Cambridge Police Station still possess numerous operations for you to undertake. Where you go from here is up to you. Ad Victorium, Sentinel. Walter says, okay, one in the morning. I guess I'm fine with not sleeping or having a normal sleep schedule. <laughs> See, that's part of the thing is, because of my work schedule, I don't really have a normal sleep schedule either. Because right now it's midnight, my time. So only one hour behind where you are and half the time I don't go to sleep until like four in the morning because <laughs> I work like swing shift into uh generally I work till like 10 30 my time I was actually off today though so but because I still live at home and all that fun stuff it makes it a little difficult to uh stream as much as I would necessarily or stream at a better time, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's see here. Vault Tech calling. So let's turn on the radio beacon. I do have mods on, Walter. Um, I have quite a few mods, actually. They're in the, the description below. Uh, one of them, for example, that's you have a whole bunch of well not a whole bunch but allows you to have a human follower a droid follower and a a robot follower <laughs> and then uh dog meat the other mod or well i have a camping mod where i can set up camping equipment like doo -doo 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 -doo. like this one and then another mod that I have allows you to save or sleep instead of just uh, sleeping to uh, save when you're, you know, in survival mode and all that. So definitely has helped out this playthrough. Otherwise, things would have been much more difficult as far as trying to, well, I guess make things work. All right. Well, now that I got don't sink all the way to the bottom, hopefully we can make it across here without getting as many rads. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it's a little it's a good deal of mods there, Walter, yes. Though I'm sure for probably some Fallout 4 players it's nothing. <laughs> yeah, I have quite a few I have some armor mods. The NCR Riot Armor, whatever it's called. That one was kind of disappointing from what I saw of it, so that I wouldn't really recommend. Ooh, what is going on here? Walter asks, are you going to the sub to get the nukes? Oh yeah! A few people have mentioned that before. Oh, well, this isn't good. Let's move. Oh dear. <laughs> Okay, let's stand so I can actually see my pit boy a little. All right, now where is the sub? Is the sub this little thing that's out in the river? Or is it further down? Because that's one thing that I've like never actually done is the mission with the sub. Or the, I guess, just going to the sub. I'm guessing that it's this little thing that's right there. Operators. So I'm guessing this is probably all operators here trying to fight these guys. Gotcha. Ah! Oh yeah, I don't think I picked up any more of that purified water that I was supposed to grab. Oh well. Ah! There you are. Oh crap. I'm trying to do this without... relying on... Oh jeez, this little cloaking mod really makes things a little a little different looking Walter says a little boy you talk to on the coast will point out a little light on the water Walter says, no power armor in the sub because you have to swim to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually trying to operate here without power armor now. It's definitely being a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Alright, where are you at, person? I think you're, oh, you're behind the wall. <laughs> the mission will give you crazy rads. Well, we do have a solution for that, I think. Actually, not quite. Do I take the boost to just uh, go up to get... I mean, the boosting endurance here would help my health overall. I 
I could also boost up Lone Wanderer again to have 25% more damage. You know what, we'll do one point of that. And we'll do one point of endurance. What's our current health at? Gotta get out of this mess. Okay. 522. So that's not bad overall. Probably should have dropped that irradiated blood off. Oh well. Oh dear. Okay, I have... Yeah, I do have grenades, okay. We'll grab this uh, short plasma rifle. Mm. Nah, I don't really need it. Because eventually I'll just turn this thing into an uh, actual rifle. Okay. Oh. What was this? Okay. I think we're good now. Okay, so, if we are looking for this sub, well, we gotta get to the coast. <laughs> Anyways, Walter says, the mission gives you nuclear beacons that you toss at, since in your case, and nukes come down from the sky from the sub. Interesting. Yeah, I know... Uh, I don't know if it was you or if it was someone else, but someone's mentioned before. Oh, like the vertebrate tossables? Yeah, I know someone has mentioned those before, I think. <laughs> My lurk. Hello. Walter said it was me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I knew someone mentioned it before. I just never quite made it out. Alright, there's something over there. I have a feeling this is not what I need, though. Oh, dear. Walter asks, have you done the Boy in the Fridge mission? I have not, actually. I mean, not in this playthrough anyways, I should say. Well, we found the Yangtze. Here there be monsters. Investigate the submarine.
Yes, fortunately, fortunately I do have a little mod that gives me, for my overall view, it shows little areas for each of the places that you can find, so definitely helped out. Rad time? Oh dear. <laughs> Who is this? I watched you swim out here. You appear able, but not a threat. No. Come in, Hopian. Um, uh, peace? I thought this submarine was abandoned. Empty. No, not empty. I am here. Captain Zhao. This is my Chenqing. My submarine. The Yangtze. Why are you here? War is over. Long over. And my Yangtze holds no bow. No treasure. Nothing for you to plunder. Walter says be super nice. Just trying to figure out who you are. No plundering, I swear. Uh -huh. Pirate <laughs> or raider would have attacked by now. I accept your gusher as truth. Your arrival is good xing yun for me. I need help, you see. Yang Tzu is not... Uh, sea worthy. You will help me fix her? I'm at your disposal. <laughs> ha! Yes! Thank you! Yes, yes, my friend. But first problem. Yang Tzu has no power. If we get reactor working, probably enough. There is damage to a... Ah... Uh, a dampening coil. Bad damage. Need a new coil. I have information. Intelligence of, from wartime. Dampening coils are at a facility called uh, Saugus Ironworks. Walter says he is the Red Menace, but also your greatest friend. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll get them for you. I am not your captain. Zhao will do. You go. Get the dampening coil. I will work on repairing the bridge control systems. Much gongzuo. I will say it's interesting that, I mean, well, I guess it makes sense why every Chinese person that you meet is ultimately a ghoul, whether it be in Fallout 4 or Fallout 3. But, uh, I don't know if there are any, well, no, never mind, I take it back. I think the old, old Fallout games do have some Chinese that did survive that didn't become ghouls. All right, so we have the dampening rods, and we have the vault tech. Well, let's do the dampening rods one. Oh god, so many rads. Especially because I haven't taken that perk yet where you don't take rads in water. <laughs> also, I do remember that I should probably put on my synth field helmet. And we might have super mutants around here. Should probably save. Walter says, run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, geez, this is nuts. This is far, far away. <laughs> well... In we go. More rads.
Oh, duh, you can sprint. I forgot about that. In water. Walter says it's worth it. <laughs> Suppose it is worth checking out. If only to potentially nuke my own settlements. <laughs> All right, actually, you know what? Take the rat away. <laughs> oh, I take 20% more damage. That's not exactly a good thing. Walter says the nukes are massive, like bigger than primes. Really? <laughs> Walter says, yeah, I'm a straight male, so I'm good at exaggerating size. Ask any woman I've dated. <laughs> well, I, I, I think any man, gay or straight, you know, has probably exaggerated size at one point or another. And of course, we are approaching where more super mutants hang out. Oh crap. Just run, just run. Walter says a death claw coming up. Oh dear. We should try to get to a point where we can save. Help defend the checkpoints. I don't think so. The Brotherhood can defend that checkpoint entirely on their own. You have any of those? Got roughed up. Ah. Well, we're fortunate that uh, this doctor here was uh, camping out. All done. Any other complaints? No, more done. Off you go then. Come on, get me out of this little thing here. Walter says, what a good mission, talk to everyone. Wait, what? Go back? Oh, you're talking about the, uh, 
I think I've already picked up this mission. Finch Farm? Yeah. I thought I did anyways. Yeah, retrieve Abraham's Finch Abraham Finch's sword from Sa Sagus Ironworks. <laughs> so we can do two birds and one stone. <laughs> yeah, I talked to uh, these guys like many, many episodes ago, but uh, just didn't quite, didn't quite get to the point of, uh, well, I was low level then too, so I didn't venture out to, to take on the forged over here and all that. And I am still not happy that I am still in caution mode. Oh dear. Someone trying to burn me. Well, it's good that I'm at least one-shotting these guys. Do I grab the flamer? Oh, why? Oh, I thought I had more carry weight than this. Well, we can fix that. I got grilled uh, rad stag here. <laughs> ah! Now, it would be nice if I found some more ammunition, 45 ammunition. Hey, you just gotta say something. <laughs> and someone is firing rockets out here. All right, let's go inside. Hopefully that'll end any of this uh, stuff where they're looking for me. <laughs> I can only hope anyways. Where did that one person go? There you are. There you go. You got some stuff I want. 
Vulture says, I'm so ready for you to throw around nukes, it's gonna be fucking sick. <laughs> Surprise! Though I still would really love, there we go. Thank God. Now I can actually pop this down, save. Walter says the kebab is also a cool weapon. That is true. Security's too good. Ah, fudge. Oh well. Found a little terminal here. I think I'm going the right way in here. We will find out momentarily. Yeah, it looks like it. No one up there. Another opportunity to save will do it. And let's sneak on into the blast furnace. bunch of raiders flinging fire not even a challenge most of them were never gonna be worth forging in the first place see Jake here's someone who might actually be worth my time unlike you but They're gonna kill me but I brought everything you asked for stealing things from your family farm doesn't prove your strength boy though this wonderful sword you brought does put me in the mood to give you <laughs> one last chance to prove your worth what do you say Kill that prisoner and prove that you aren't completely useless. You said we'd be raiding outside the Commonwealth. These people aren't even a threat to us. Prove to me that you can kill! It's him or you. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Kill him, Jake. You've got no choice. Oh. go! Why is not even arm, Jake? If you aren't strong enough to kill, then you do it! Prove Kill him, to Jake. me that you're worth It's forging. him or you. No, I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna do this. I don't wanna join the forge. I just wanna go home. Last chance, Jake. If you don't kill the prisoner before I count to three, well, it's over. One. Help! Two! Three! Whoa. Not now! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, crap. 
Oh, that's why I saved. <clears throat> Walter says that was fucking me trying to kill, get him to do that. Poor guy. Well, Kayla doesn't necessarily care about some uh, settler. Bunch of most of them we never CJ but gonna kill me. stealing things from your though this one kill that you said we'd be raiding sure Prove to me that you can kill oh god what right Walter says use grenades can we hmm, move possibly this along? Please let I've me got go. places to be I just wanted to provide for my family well let's get things started here a little bit oh Jake didn't like that Oh well. Take Jake out. Ah! Nope, that didn't work. Let's see what kind of grenades I have here. I do have a Nuka grenade that I could throw up there. Sure, why not? <laughs> We're doing this for the nukes. Nah. <laughs> Ah, who that? All right, the nuka grenade worked pretty well. We got the shish kebab now. Over here, the dampening coil. Excellent. So, yeah, we just had to use a uh, Nuka grenade there. That worked really well. <laughs> I didn't expect that it was going to take out everyone who was at the bottom, but uh, it worked pretty well. Hello there, Ryan. Things are going alright. Uh, ended up doing the mission first to get the nuclear sub going, so... Not quite at uh, Vault 88 yet. <laughs> and Walter is hyped for us to be start nuking stuff. <laughs> Alright, I always get lost on trying to get the hell out of here.
All right, let's save before we go outside, because who knows what exactly is waiting for us out there. And then, in, uh, then it should just be a matter of returning to the Yangtze, I think. Well, there's probably more stuff that we have to do. All right, well, let's head back to Finch Farm first. <laughs> that way we can take them under our control now. I don't even know who they're fighting over here. Oh, it's just fighting Radstag or Brahmin or something over there. Brahmin, yeah. Poor Brahmin. Walter says you have to fix it yourself. That's where the rats come in. Oh God! Any luck finding my granddad's sword? I've got it right here. You do? Well, that's that's good. You uh, did you? What happened with Jake? He's dead. That's what happens to raiders. God damn! I'd hoped he'd come around when he realized what that life meant, but I here. It's everything we agreed to. Keep the sword. Gotta move on. And it'll just remind us of him. Hooray! Jake was such a solitary boy growing up. I should have done more to reach out to him. <laughs> Alright, let's seems to be growing grab up. a few mutt fruits from around here. <laughs> well, she says Jake died because he was acting like a little bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, there is a uh, water purifier here. And I will be so happy when I am done with being sick and all that. This whole sick thing sucks. <laughs> Omar, hello there. Yeah, we've kind of uh, postponed doing Vault 88, and instead we're doing the mission to uh, get the nuclear sub under our control. Is that all of them? I think that was all of them. Select the Molotovs and try and make some use out of those. Armar says, Well, you started the stream early? <laughs> no, I didn't. It's uh twelve forty five my time. <laughs> Walter says all nukes must remain in Brotherhood custody, yes. <laughs> Including those by the Chinese. <laughs> Ryan says, are you going to get to the vault tonight? Um, possibly. I think as soon as we do this nuke mission, we'll head to the vault. 
because the vault is actually further south, so we'll just uh, continue going south to make it to the vault. But Walter was on when I started the stream, so I decided, why not? Since he brought up doing the nuke. Or the nuke sub or whatever. says what is my clock broken or have I entered the twilight zone um Omar are you in Europe Ryan asks have you ever been to the vault on this playthrough I have not yeah um I haven't even passed by the area, I don't believe. Alright, should I take some Rad X? I could probably do that. Oh, that definitely helps as far as being in the water. Ryan says, good luck clearing the raiders. Well, I figure the nuke will hopefully help us out there a little bit. back inside. Walter says nukes only work outside, by the way. Well, that's uh, where you encounter most of the... That's where you encounter most of the... Uh, whatchamacallit, guys? The uh, raiders. <laughs> Omar says, kinda. You usually start streaming at 8 a.m. my time. Uh, Omar, have you had anything with daylight savings time or anything like that? I have the dampening coil. You have dampening coil? Ah! Yoshu! Yoshu! Now, to get nuclear fuel. I'm ready. The next step seems simple. But do not be deceived. Two hundred years ago, I launched all of Yangtze's high-yield nuclear missiles. As ordered. For 200 years, I have lived with that guilt, that shame. So much fire, such bay, but one missile failed to launch. You must go down, remove the warhead, then bring it to me. I'm on it. I admire your spirit. While you are getting warhead, I will prepare the reactor. But now I must warn you. There is danger. We shall. Old crew. Still down there. Not okay like their captain. Worse. They do not harm me. But they will kill you. I... I cannot kill them. Still, they are my crew. My family. Jaren. All of us. But you must do what you must do. Uh, daylight savings time, Omar. It's where the clocks generally fall back an hour. I think it falls back in, uh, in the fall. And then it's 
spring forward, I think, if I'm recalling correctly. All right, time for all of the rads. Um, and there's some funky looking things going on around here. Actually sneaking around, I might do better just using uh, the sword, I think. It's my guess anyways. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh dear. First mate. Take it down! Take it down! Alright, got the warhead. Oh, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Omar says, I just looked it up. Yes, it looks like my time forwarded an hour. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that there, Omar, but uh, it happens. Ah! And we have an infection again. <laughs> it's not as many rads as I was thinking there, Walter. I, I was expecting more rads. All right. Oh, dear. All right. Let's use a rad away. And let's use a stim pack to heal our all our stuff here. And some water. There is some weird thing going on there. Uh oh. We're still considered in danger. Walter says, drink Nuka Cola to keep the nuke <laughs> vibes going. <laughs> You're just trying to kill me there, Walter. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on, little ghoul thing that's hunting me down. Omar says, I need to get notifications for this shit. When it happens, all my clocks are digital, so they update by themselves. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Generally, uh, like my phone, for example, I don't think... Or even, well, my computer will generally, at least I know they used to, say when you go forward with uh, daylight savings. I don't think the phone does say anything, though. All right, we're hidden now. That's good. And there's something about going in... Ah, whatever. 
darn bugs. Here is the warhead. No difficulty with the warhead, I trust. I'm alive, aren't I? Be resolved. And the thing is done. Now, here is what you must do. Head down to the reactor. Take dampening coil and warhead with you. First, insert the dampening coil. Carefully. Xiaoxin. Then, put warhead into the reactor. As you do that, I monitor power levels from the control room. Do not put warhead in first. Do that? Si Wang. Death for you and me both. Alright, do not install the warhead first. Does it give us an option to install the warhead first? Because if so, that would be kind of <laughs> kind of interesting. Oh, do we want to see what happens if we install the warhead first? Let's make sure I did save there. Yes, I did. Let's install the warhead. No, you fool! <laughs> All right. Well, I'm happy that they didn't allow you the chance to actually <laughs> mess that up. <laughs> Omar asks, why do you look like a Power Ranger who forgot to paint his suit? This is the synth armor. So, and I've turned it uh, metallic color. Beautiful youngs would hold together, but we did it. You are a capitalist. I know you expect payment for services. Instead, I would offer you service in exchange for your service. It is our way. Take these uh, transponders. Each one acts as a homing signal for missile I can fire from my youngs. Only small tactical use, but you should still get as far away as possible. Throw transponder like a grenade to activate it. Then wait for bounce on. Kaboom. Hope it sinks now. <laughs> I wish you a safe journey. Many thanks. I look forward to seeing my Chungguo soon. Soon I will set sail. You should get ashore. Farewell, American. I must admit, I have met worse capitalists. A homing beacon. Yay! All right, it's not bad. Let's see. Oh, I'm overtired. Is there anywhere on here that you can sleep? Oh, dear. That's not what I wanted. Come on, Zhao. Tell me there's a place around here that I can sleep. Infection, overtired. Grilled red stag. No, that made it worse. Oh, because I was, uh, I see why it made it worse. Well, I guess I can put down at least the bed and sleep for a moment. I think I can do five hours at max. That is true, Walter. I can do Nuka Cola for it as well. Oh, here's a, re a real bed. Of course, it was right next to where we were. Oh, 
All right. Alright, so now that we have the nukes, let's head for Vault 88. Yes, Walter, after so long, the nukes are finally here. says now you are truly unstoppable we will find out we will find out all right how much further do we have to go to get to the vault it's down a bit of a bit of a ways Be gone, Raiders, be gone. Ryan says that he is trying to hunt down poor Omar there. <laughs> you got a lot of potential locations there, Ryan. Alright, looks like it's just a quick ways ahead here. And we somehow found a feral ghoul. Okay, why am I getting something that I can pickpocket? There's feral ghoul. Apparently I was able to use magic to blow up that feral ghoul, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like the uh, raiders over here are already kind of involved in some kind of fight. Alright, so we have these homing beacons. Grab one. Let's try and remain hidden if possible. Oh, so we got Brotherhood here. Oh dear, they have found me. Well, let's just try it out. It goes pretty far. Let's switch back over to our Molotovs here. Yeah. 
decent little nukes. Alright, who's firing at me? We got this person over here. Come back here, you raider veteran. I suppose I could attempt to throw one of these homing beacons all the way over there. Oh dear. Gotcha. All right, time for a stem pack. Sneeze. Okay. Oh, there you are. Mine says pop quiz. Do you know the most common name in the world? Um, Mohammed? said I thought it would be dickhead. Ryan says ding 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 correct. Hey! Alright, let's see now. I do have a frag grenade. How well did that work? Sort of well. Omar says that's what people call me. Oh, I'm sorry, Omar, that people call you dickhead. <laughs> Alright, I need something else to heal me up here. We'll do another of those. Because those mutant hound chops are at least healing us up a little from the rads as well. Oh dear, so many rads. So many rads.
Sneaky, sneaky on in. can't do that. But this works. Walter, thanks for uh, stopping in and helping me get the nukes. Definitely appreciate it. been 200 years for uh, vault tech to finally show up <laughs> Ouch. Whew. Lots and lots of rats from that one. <laughs> Ryan says, it's safe, newbie. Just a few ghouls. Oh, dear. Okay. Phew. All right, let's turn off the lockdown here. Good. Very good. vault -Tech workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there, and you should find it. Actually, I should probably save again. Because I think the reactor room does have a couple heavier ghouls. I think, anyways. Okay, at least one. Oh dear, he mutated. I might be doomed. I might be doomed. No! See, that's why I saved. Alright. 
pick it up. You know what? Let's do a sneaky shotgun blast. Haha. <laughs> Omar says, did you just kill yourself with fire? Maybe. Alright. The vault workshop is up and running. Go nom 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 to all the stuff laying around here. And then clear the debris. Now I wonder how it is that the workshop is able to clear the debris like this. Is it like... Does the workshop like have some means of like nanoparticles or something? I don't know. You aren't what I was expecting. You do have a pit boy. You're from a vault, but you are clearly not with Waltech. What are you doing here? Why did you help me? Actually, I'm here to offer you the bargain of a lifetime. What would you say? to a vintage set of encyclopedias. Act now. An encyclopedia? Uh, <sighs> ah, humor. I've been on my own so long, almost didn't recognize that. My name is Valerie Barstow, and I was to be the overseer of this vault. But please, follow me. I have a proposal for you. It's been a hard two asks, have you done this DLC before? I have, at least once before. My vault, then the earthquakes, sirens, many died. Perhaps they were lucky. The radiation, somehow, I was spared. Stop, Julian. What are you doing? Julian. Julian. The construction crew didn't fare as well as me. They've never done anything hostile towards me, though. It's probably best if you put them out of their misery. Kill the feral ghouls. Excellent. Omar says, by the way, that armor of yours is lit. It was more lit a few seconds ago. Well, it is kind of, uh, it does have a little cloaking thing to it, so. Oh dear. Oh dear. A bloated one. Die, Tubby. Ryan says, so you know the friends you'll meet as you go into the different sections. Um, I know there's like rad scorpions, at least, in one of them. I don't know if I've ever completed all of the sections, though. I know there's one that at least has rad scorpions. That much I kind of remember. says by lit I mean on fire oh <laughs> at least Ryan got your joke there Omar everything but there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle but my work kept me going here among these papers is my life's work I'd like to share it with you dr. Braun tasked me with something vital a series of prototypes and their related, well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, 
Things did not go according to plan. Sounds like you've had a pretty tough time. I've had many dark days down here. Even despair. But the work. Always the work sustained me. This vault was meant to be spacious, full of trained staff, trusted subordinates and scientists. Despite how things have played yeah. out, I see opportunity. Let us work together, as partners. Let's do this then. Good. Excellent. We cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Ryan says, cough, cough. Legendary sentry bots and legendary alpha death, death claw. Oh dear. All right. So we got to clean up this whole section a bit and... Uh, get it ready for the atrium and all that. Oh, hey, you can break up the skeleton into all of its component parts. I never knew that. Just gotta select these parts of the atrium to kind of clean them up a little bit. Maybe. There we go. Get rid of that. Yeah, Kyle Mendez, you're not gonna get a response there. <laughs> Omar says, oh yes, just place the water tower in your backpack. It's not quite that, it's uh, scrapping it is more, more like it. Ryan asks, what are your PC specs? So my PC specs are, um, I have a GTX 980 graphics card. My processor, I was actually looking at it, it's an i7... I want to say it's like 4790, something like that. Paul, welcome back. Yeah, we uh, did the mission earlier to get the nukes that are available from that uh, Chinese sub. And then now we finally made it to... Vault 88, where we're pretty much just doing some cleanup to get things ready to actually begin the building portion. Oh no, I got rid of the... whatchamacallit, aww. Oh. All right, uh, let's see now. Let's try and move some of these into a little bit better area. Of course, there's really not a good area where you can place those schools. Oh, well. All right. Well, we could put the overseer's desk kind of just in the middle for now and eventually move it. Oh yeah, getting rid of this rock slide 
shows an area further on. We don't exactly want to go there just yet. In time, though. Julian, you are too heavy here. <laughs> I can hardly believe it. My overseer's desk. After all this time. <clears throat> this. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long. But we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. <laughs> it's a miracle what you can do with one arm. I know, right, Paul? Um, yeah, Ryan, I know I got a little sidetracked. So I have an i7-4790, a GTX 980 graphics card, 16 gigabytes of RAM. And you were asking about it, and it is DDR3, but I think it'll work all right, I hope. Let's find ourselves a guinea pig. The Vault Tech Handbook urges as far as uh, Fallout seventy six goes. Using that word, no matter how apt. Turn on the Vault's radio beacon. Certainly, people above ground would give anything to live in our Vault. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault eighty eight. If you can clear some of the rubble. You may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Omar says, just want you to know I am eating Reese's. To Ryan, I trust you to make bad jokes while I eat. <laughs> don't, eat don't eat too many of the Reese's. They'll make you fat. <laughs> Paul asks, do you have antibiotics? I do. And I probably should take them. I actually want to set up a uh, doctor here, though, so. Ryan says, hi, eating Reese's. I'm Ryan. Oh, God. See what you've done, Omar. It's all your fault. Oh, yeah, she did sell tell me to go. Uh... Actually, I probably should do a container first. I have a lot of junk I have to drop off here. Alright, so let's take a look here. So we have the flamer, we can drop that off for now. Probably can drop off that. The shish kebab. I think we'll drop that off. We can probably upgrade it later on, but... For the time being, we'll do all right dropping it off. Drop off the five millimeter rounds. I have a lot of 556 that eventually I'll be able to use when I get an assault rifle again. All right, next. Ryan says, newbie, talk to me when you have RTX enabled. RTX, RTX. I admit I'm drawing a little bit of a blank at the moment.
All right. Ray tracing. Oh, is that a... Uh... Is that something specific to... Uh... Well, let's go down this way and see what we can find. Ryan says, it's like super advanced lighting that only the new 20 series GPUs can handle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not quite at that point yet. Oh dear. Go away, tubby. Yeah, eventually, at, at some point, I will get adventurous and, uh, well, probably when I next do my upgrades and all that, um, I'll probably just build a whole new computer, because I'll, I'll need a new motherboard to do a new processor and all that. One of these days. Probably, it'll probably be one of my first expenses once I actually move out is I'll probably start saving up to get a new uh, a new uh, PC because this one is getting about three years old it'll probably be like around three and a half years old once I move out Ryan says, Sentry Bot, I think, is coming up. I thought it was the uh, Rad Scorpions in this one, but it could be the Sentry Bot. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of uh, uranium in this place here. So if I remember correctly, you actually have to go through here then. Let's see, we have, oh no, there's a Meyer Alert Queen here. That's what it is. Oh dear. There she is. She got around to spewing out any of her babies. All right, let's activate this now. Oh, Ryan, you're a, your advice is a little behind there. <laughs> By the time I uh, received that, I uh, had already destroyed her, so. <laughs> but thank you for the advice, though. 
yeah, that uh, shotgun is pretty pretty useful overall. Oh yeah, can't you eventually activate this as something to provide uh, water or something? I thought that was something like that. Maybe I'm just making stuff up in my head. It's entirely possible. Alright, off to interview some of the candidates here. For our testing. <laughs> And I probably should move this around. Let's see, structures, vaults, atrium. That's what we want. With mid wall stuff there. And then the third level all the way down here. Ryan says, yeah, feed it power, it gives you like 150 water. Oh, nice. <laughs> Paula says, is this the crazy overseer that makes you do horrible things to the test subjects? Yes, it is. Just a moment and we can begin. Please, step forward. Ah yes, welcome. Welcome. So, this here is a vault, right? Quite correct. And you could be one of our lucky new residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Let's go for the speech check. It's all right. We're the good guys. Just answer the questions. Hmm, you seem... All right. Okay. From what I heard, them governments are why everything's radioactive. You won't do for our... A special assignment but welcome to our vault your new home if she is representative of what's left above the outside world must be rougher than I imagined are you ready for the next interview let's continue all right hello welcome to vault 88 this is a real nice place you have here real nice and I can go wherever I like, right? Within reason, yes. But I have a question for you. Sure, sure. What do you want to know? A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who could stop it. Is there something wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. Just pretend, so you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What would you do? Well, whatever you'd like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. Don't rip us off. <laughs> if you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be good. Just don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. Omar says, Reese's has been eaten. Calculating. Diabetes increased 10%. Family love decreased 50%. So at negative 50%. Chances of girlfriend 
Self-esteem decrease 100%. Ryan says, you roll a 1, develop diabetes and get kicked out of your house. <laughs> Alright, do we let this guy stay? Sure, why not? Normally I generally have this guy leave, but uh, Kayla, she doesn't mind those who are a little more entrepreneurial. I think we could use him in our vault. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your candor. You can stay, but you're not what we're looking for. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a colorful gentleman. Clearly he won't work for our experiments. Here's hoping third time's a charm. Let's do the next interview, then. As you say. Hello. Ah. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is Clem. Uh, yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in, I have some questions. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I I'll answer anything you like. Well, uh, that's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know, stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming. Lady Overseer. You're an idiot. <laughs> Let's do sarcastic, though. Well, aren't you just precious? I, uh, thanks. I think. Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed, she killed a mole rat once. Really? Uh, that's remarkable. Describe the traits you most admire about her. Well, she was strong because of the mole rat, and she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. God, I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. <laughs> mole rat kill counts really are the foundation of maternal affection. I guess. Am I doing okay? We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I, 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 I mean, yes! I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. Yes. <sighs> I think you'll do nicely. And no time like the present to commence. Now that we have, um, Clem, we are ready to begin. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies in the welcome area near the entrance. All right, so let's grab uh, some jumpsuits here and some pit boys. Clem, let's get you outfitted like a real vault dweller. All right, so give him one of these, and I think it's under miscellaneous for the pit boy. Have him equip that, and he's all set up. Where did those others go? Paul says, Clem, smart as a bag of rocks. Oh, that's, that's hurting the bag of rocks. Let's trade some things. Of course. All right. Next, Pip Boy for you. And jumpsuit for you. And one thing I might have to check out is I think this mod that I have. 
or one of the mods that I have will let me possibly change the color in the vault suit. I have to check that out. Our first vault residence. What a moment. But on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, a resident instead improves their body past the minimum requirements. vault has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. While you pedal, you provide raw power to the vault. A perfect answer to an inherently counterproductive practice. Theoretically, that sounds all right. We just need to turn the hypothetical into actuality. The prototype is far from perfect. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even the stray cerebral hemorrhage. <coughs> uh, what? Overseer? Oh, Clem. Don't worry yourself. This model won't suffer from those defects. Oh. <laughs> well. Probably. Let me download the schematic to your pip boy. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work Clem hard. Give me power. Omar says, You're going to dress Clem. Clem be like, Ooh, a woman is going to dress me. Dude, it's been years since a woman dressed me, though this time she does not look like my mother. <laughs> I could very well see Clem saying something like that. Huh? All right, so we got to get our testing area kind of figured out here. Let's see, will this work out all right? Not exactly. We actually have to go down one more. Now this is always the fun part in the vault building, is trying to get it set up properly. <laughs> Paul says, newbie, your character is going to die from infection mid-conversation. <laughs> I would, but I have the level, the third level of that, uh, that one health perk. Uh, life giver. So I slowly regenerate lost health. So I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> but yes, it, it is maybe a little annoying hearing me go, uh, 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 every 20 minutes or so. All right, what do I want for the next level here? Cap collector could be good for doing the next level of some of the shops around here. Of course, I'd have to get to, I think, level two for it. So let's start with the first level of it. We're almost, with all this building, we'll get to the next level pretty soon, I think. Also, I think I'll get rid of this. And keep most of the atrium kind of that let's see use this as kind of like the center point so 
So we put this one there, this one there. Yeah, the important thing when you are building, especially in the vault -Tec DLC here, is you do have to kind of get it all set up where it snaps together. Because if it's not snapping together, then eventually it's just going to be... It's going to be weird. And I think the way that it transfers power here, you kind of need it snapped together as well. Alright, let's start to clear out some of this stuff. this stuff away that's a purified water she had in here Omar says, Minecraft, but with more graphics? Pretty much, pretty much. You know, I, I'm almost positive that Minecraft did inspire a lot of the stuff that's here. But in a way, that's kind of good, too, you know, I mean... Overs here, damn it. Paul says, what armor is your character wearing? I don't think I've seen it in anyone's playthroughs. So this is actually the synth armor. Um, heavy synth armor. And it's been modified because in one of my mods that I have installed, I can... Let's see. Let's put up the armor workbench here real quick. So in one of the mods that I have, I can actually change up the color scheme of it. So it has its basic no color swap, and then there's a dirty version, a clean version, red metallic, gold, blue, black, and clean black. Oh, well, dirty black or clean black. Um, so, and pretty much the good thing about this mod is it lets you do that on pretty much any kind of armor. Like, I can even do it on these Vault 88 jumpsuits. Like, I can change the primary color. So let's do a tan primary color. Secondary... I have no idea what that changes it into. We have animal, we have black, brown, diamond. Oh, this has a hell of a lot of different options here. Let's do trim white. Or actually, no, we'll do trim wine. Okay. And then we can also do a decal swap. And then let's go find one of our guys who's going to be our farmer. Not Clem. Clem is our test subject. People, where did you go? Oh, there you are. All right, so this girl, we're gonna make her into our farmer. I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. So what that's gonna be is pretty much we will transfer over this vault suit to her, have her equip it. Can we trade a few things? Okay. Take back the old one that she had. It's not the best setup, but it'll work, I guess. Paul says, what does metallic look like? Well, metallic looks like uh, what I have right now. So this is the metallic look. It's pretty much like the darker version, but metallic has a little shine to it. Omar says, uh, so it is like Power Ranger suits. Bring your friends and have them dressed with different colors. <laughs> Something like that. Alright, so we need to set up a place for food. Oh, 
Unfortunately, I don't have any fertilizer, so that could be an issue. But that's what we have traders for. Now, where did that other guy go? There you are. You will go become our trader. Are we at a decent time that we can trade? Probably not. And just to keep me alive, I will use this little water pump we have here. But yeah, let me uh, let me pause it for a moment and look and see which mod it is that actually uh, lets me do this real quick. So I know you need the armor and weapon keywords community resource for this mod. But the actual one that does it is the uh, UCO base game and UCO season pass. Uh, this mod is available on both PS4 and switch that over okay so it's available both on uh, PC PS4 and Xbox one so it's a nice little mod lets you change up things add like ballistic weave to pretty much any armor so oh this guy is manning the station I just I just want to trade a few things I'm sure I have something you need let's see what you got let me know what you'd like Oh, no, guess not. It just looks that way. All right. So we got to do our special vault stuff. Power cycle 1000. Prototype. Connect the terminal to the power cycle and select experiment parameters. Miscellaneous. Terminal. Let's see, Clem. Oh, I can't actually. I think I need a mi a mini little generator of its own at first. Power cycle experiments. So we can focus on additional power pro production, sustained usage incentives, or environmental enhancer. Let's see, what notes do we have? Oh, that didn't really help me too much. Paul says, all very interesting but useless info for me as I only have a PS3 and a dead computer. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. That explains why you're so interested in uh, New Vegas, then. <laughs> All right, so this environmental enhancer. Using strong aromatic essential oils, the power cycle prototype elicited a strong initial impression. A sub-audible soundtrack of gentle waves. Eh. Paul says, I'm watching you on my phone, which is my primary means of internet access. Oh. I'd understand that pain definitely there, Paul. <laughs> uh, let's do... Let's do additional power production. And now to let Clem ride for an hour. Oh, he's just going right onto it. Okay. Good job, Clem. Good job. This is all there is to it? So I... I'll keep pedaling. This is... kind of fun. Ow. What? Uh, you... The, the cycle is... Ow! Broken! I'll just... keep pedaling. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, hell. Alright, gotta move more of these ghouls out of the way here. Might as well do this as Clem does his cycling stuff. <laughs> Omar says, poor Clem, he just wanted to be cool. Yeah. He was so willing to do everything. And he's going to suffer for it. Alright, so what other atrium stuff do we have here? We'll do one more there. And set up a doorway one. Oh dear. <laughs> I think Clem may have blown up there. <laughs> Any requests? No. All right, let's uh, check on Clem here. Excuse me. I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job and I kept pedaling faster and faster and then the whole vault went kablooey. Please don't kick me out. All right, repair. Repair the generator. <clears throat> I was looking at the data for the power cycle. Marvelous work. The power cycle intelligently yeah. forced our test subject to pedal to his limits. My heart's still pounding, Overseer. I... I... Uh... Oh, cheer up, Clem. You could have pedaled at the rate of another 10 or 15 minutes without long-term effects. If you say so. For the next experiment, we'll need something from outside. vault subcontracted out chemical research to Hallucigen Incorporated. It was supposed to be delivered before. Well, before. But with the mail service out of commission, other arrangements must be made. I'll be back before you know it. Excellent. Just grab a package for Overseer Barstow. Once we have that, we can start the next experiment. All right. Hey, one more level up. Which means we can get the next level of cap collector. <laughs> yes, Paul. The settler did say something spells. <laughs> like it died in here because of all these ghouls. Alright, I think we are probably going to call it quits for today. Uh, we've made some progress. Yep, that was what I needed to build the next level of uh, trading post here. So yeah, we're going to call it quits here for today. Um, probably pick up on this on, let's see, Hello. Sunday. And then we'll go from there. Um, probably once we're done with the Vault 88 stuff, we'll probably be about done with all of the stuff for Fallout 4. I still have that one mod idea I have going around in my head, but uh, 
that's still a work in progress, so we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you stay notified on all of my streams and videos. And don't forget to leave a like. Always helps the channel. And hopefully, when I stream on Sunday, I'll be over this whole nasally mess. Homer says, three months later, Clem, all that pedaling made my legs strong. I can run faster, kick stronger. Kayla, Clem, wake up. You okay? It's been 10 minutes of cycling and you passed out. <laughs> it probably would be something like that. All right, folks, I will see you all later.